Welcome back, and we welcome to our program today, Catherine Jeter, Affordable Care Act Navigator uh, at Erlanger Medical Center. And we're going to discuss the enrollment opportunities that are going on this week. Right. Uh, what's, what's going on? Well, we, we realized as um, Erlanger we wanted to do something for the last month of enrollment, which mm -hmm. ends March 31st. So this whole week we've kind of been our kickoff week for the month of March, where we've had um, enrollment sessions and um, had uh, have had navigators and CACs available to assist people with actually enrolling. And this is for everybody? This is for everybody, okay. yeah. Um, our services, it doesn't cost anything to sit down with a navigator or application counselor. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, we really encourage people to do so. Um, we're seeing a lot of people that are amazed with the information that they're receiving in terms of the coverage and their options and the prices. And that's always, the prices price is always, always, good. Is always an issue. Yes. Uh, Notice that you're going to be. There's three more of these uh, events, right? Erlanger Bledsoe, uh, Correct. March 5, which is uh, today. Today. Mm -hmm. It started this morning, but uh, they're going through 4 o'clock Central Time yes. this afternoon. Uh, Sequatchie County Courthouse, March 6th, noon to 5 p.m. Central Time. Erlanger East, uh, March 7th. 1 to 5 p.m. and those right. are still left where people can can they go anywhere else or is it do these just these areas? even after this this was just a, a, an idea to just kind of you know um, drum up more attention in yeah. terms of encouraging people to enroll since the deadline does end in a few weeks but definitely after this week people Erlanger um, there's other organizations we're actually partnered with the Medical Foundation American Exchange mm -hmm. um, there's many resources that people can contact to to sit down with somebody and go over their, their insurance. Uh, the people you were talking about before about getting a lot of phone calls, what are they, is there any one or two things they're really uh, concerned about? Um, I think calls. I think people, that's just been the main kind of question is, is how they, they know that they need to do something yeah. with this, but how much is it going to cost them? And that's where, um, you know, we're, we're lucky to be able to sit down with folks and explain this because we can show them that, you know, based on their income and their family size that they they can qualify for a great amount of subsidies to help lower what they have to pay for health coverage. And, and I guess because all individuals are so different, so different. Every, every case is different. Every case is different. You know, we have those that range, um, the, I think the, the cheapest plan that I enrolled somebody in was $5. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm really shocked. That, you know, I, I had to stand back from the computer because it was just really shocking. But those are the stories. And then, you know, another individual we just enrolled Monday at Erlanger paid $100 for insurance. But that's affordable to him. He was able to get into a plan that met his needs, allowed him to stay with his doctor. So that's yeah. what this is about. Uh, does, it, uh, does it matter? Uh, how much other stuff is all around this, you know, or is it just that uh, some people call this Obamacare, right? Yeah, that, that's the that's kind of the, um, after it was implemented, um, kind of the name that's out in the community. Yeah. And when we're doing our education, of course, you know, when we first talk to somebody, we might say Obamacare, but we really go back to, because this is education, it's really kind of, you know, introducing insurance to a population of people that probably has never had insurance. Mm -hmm. So we want them to know and understand the actual law and so we try to um, refrain so much from calling it Obamacare and really say the yeah. Affordable Care Act. And, I, and I'm sure you're very cautious as well that uh, you've got so many people out there with questions and, and it's, is it likely to go past the 31st of March? Or well we were, we were kind of, um, my, myself and colleagues were kind of wondering but it looks like the deadline is going to be March 31st and even after that I mean if, you, if an individual has what we call a special qualifying event then if they get married, they have a death of the family, their income changes, those are all um, events that will allow them to even past March 31st to make changes or enroll. And people can call to ask questions, but you need, they have to make an appointment, right? Yeah, we ask that. You know, generally right now with the website, the improvements yeah. being made, that it's taking about 40 minutes, but we tell people to expect at least an hour, just depending upon the situation and the questions. For Affordable Care Act or to schedule an appointment, you call this number, 423 778 link that's 778 l i n k yeah. good